Hi guys, how are you doing? Well, today I'm just doing a little chit chat, get ready with me. I know you guys like these videos and I haven't done one in a while and I have a new product to share with you that I'm really excited about from Tarte. It is the Shape Tape Ultra Creamy and it just launched. Um, and before I forget, I do have a discount code for you for 15% off. Um, any full price item. I will link that for you below. But I'm really excited about this because this is totally geared for more mature skin, dry skin. Those of us over 40, you know what I'm talking about. I actually use the original all the time. If I moisturize my under eyes well, I don't have a problem with it. But I know a lot of you need a little bit extra moisture. So this is gonna be perfect for you. So I'm gonna demonstrate that today. I'm in the color light and that's the color I am in the original as well. So this has hyaluronic acid, ginseng, prickly pear, other good ingredients that are gonna lock in moisture. It has 12 hour crease proof wear, all the things we love about the original, but this is gonna give us extra hydration. Actually, it says 24 hour hydration. So I'm gonna finish up my foundation here. Um, I'm just using their little sponge. This is actually a tip I have been using for months and months. I find my foundation stays longer. Um, I like using a dry sponge. I've done this off and on for years, but I have, primarily been doing it for months. Um, and I don't know, I just feel like it fills in pores a little better and it just, like I said, it kind of just locks in the foundation. You definitely get a more um, full coverage when you use it dry. And of course, if you want a more sheer coverage, then you know, you could dampen it like with any beauty sponge. But I really like this one because I love the tilted edge and I love the point. So I'll show you how I use the point for concealer. I go over my eyebrows and everywhere just because I have a little bit of redness there. Um, I did get my second IPL laser. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, I had shared that I was getting that. Um, I think I started in January. So I had my second one and they're a little uncomfortable for me, but I definitely can tell a difference. Most of my redness is like in my cheeks and I have sensitive skin, but it's mainly just from past sun damage. I don't really have um, like traditional rosacea. I mean, sometimes I will get flushing a little bit, but um, mine's just, you know, I have very fair skin and um, you know, it's just sensitive. So even with the laser, you know, I can't have it turned up a whole lot, but it was amazing because she showed me before and after pictures of just one session and I could really see a difference. I, you know, was kind of surprised. So anyway, I'm gonna go for my third, probably in a month, and uh, see how that goes. I will list all the products I'm using in the description box below, by the way. All right, my foundation might be a little off because I just kind of scrubbed off my self-tanner in the shower, but okay, so let's get to it. Again, this is the Shape Tape Ultra Creamy. And again, I have it in the color light. And I'll just show you how I use it regardless. So I'm gonna just use it the same way. I use it like kind of as an eye primer too because I find it really um, lasts and holds my uh, eyeshadow and that way I don't get any creasing or um, transfer too for mascara up on my lids. So I usually put like a little dot right up there and then one in the corner and then just, you know, a couple down. You know, you don't need a ton. And then just wherever else I might have some redness, like right here, a little bit here, I have a spot here. And then I'm just gonna take the pointed into that. Well, actually, I'll do this um, for down here. And I'm gonna take the pointed in under my eye. with the point and get right up to the lash line, which is what I do with the original too. And I don't have any problem with creasings. I do set it. I just like putting concealer over my eyes more than an eye primer. Cause like I said, it acts like an eye primer to me and that way it evens everything out too. And with powder, I've also been using a dry sponge and just pressing it into my chin, making sure it really lasts. You know, with like wearing a mask and things like that, I don't want it to come off. Um, so just powder. 
I concentrate on my chin because that's kind of my problem area and it helps like just fill in any little fine lines too, I find. So I kind of press it in around that area and then I'll just use a brush for the rest of my face, like normal. But again, I'm just like pressing it. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I haven't shown you guys an eyebrow video in a while, but um, I'm kind of just gonna do this quick. But what I do to line them up, since mine are uneven, I just basically take uh, at the edge of my nose and line it up so, so you can see where mine need a little help there. Same over here. And that's where I start. <laughs> Some of you might not need as much filling in as I do, but I have an older video with how I fill in my eyebrows, but I've changed it since then. And I kind of go back and forth with products too. Like I'll use pencil, I'll use powder. It just depends. You know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and use some of my other favorite Tarte products since we're talking about it. This, I love this, I've had this for a while, the Hamptons Weekender. Um, I bring it out every summer. I've got a pretty good dent in my bronzer down here. So I'm gonna use that for bronzer. And basically with bronzer, I have been putting it kind of right at my cheekbone. I don't put it real low because that can kind of drag your face down. I kind of put it right at the cheekbone. And just kind of swirl like that. It's a little dark for me right now because I have not been self tanning, you know. Basically, I just take kind of like a duo fiber fluffy brush, kind of blend that in a little. You can also take uh, your foundation sponge and blend it. Okay, I'm not gonna use the blush out of here because like I said, the blush and the bronze are a little dark for me right now, but in the summer, I absolutely love them. What I am gonna do is use another one of my favorite Tarte blushes. This is Party. You can see I totally hit pan on that. It's just such a really pretty pink. I think a lot of you would like it. I know uh, I've talked about this for a couple of years. And I always put my blush kind of going up too to try to lift my cheekbone. On my face shape, I do have to put it close, like, you know, a little bit on the apples or it looks kind of strange. I feel like on camera, it's looking a little more pronounced than it is in real life. We'll see when I edit it. Sometimes it looks that way on camera. Just keep with the theme here and I will use my Tartlet and Bloom palette. But I'll just put this light color all over. I just find when you have a wash of color over the lid, it kind of just helps everything else blend. Again, I use that middle one here to start blending out a little. Sometimes I'll mix these two. Maybe that's what I'm gonna do is mix those two. Then I'm going to take this one right here same brush. So I'm going to take this, this color right there. It has a little bit of shimmer. It's one of my favorites. I'm just gonna blend it out. I'm also gonna take, um, I usually dip between the two and put it on my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take this one down here. I always love that kind of shade on my lid to kind of brighten it up.
All right, prime my eyelashes. I actually have um, this little small, <laughs> this little small, <laughs> this little sample size of the Tarte Big Ego. I bought this a while back to try. And then they also sent me the Man Eater. Um, I like this one, but if you want more volume, I would do the Lights Camera Lashes. That is a great one. This one is more like separating, um, which I like that sometimes too. And then this is going to be full as well, it looks like, but I'm excited to try this one because the brush looks amazing. Oh yeah, this one's good. I like the, I like this. They also have mascara trios on their site in this size, which is great, because that way you can try them and see which ones you like. Okay, wipe off a little bit of my lip balm. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for lips. I've kind of just been doing something simple lately. Maybe I'll just fill it in with a liner and like gloss. You guys know I have a hard time talking and putting on makeup. I always chit chat and then I'm like stopping what I'm doing. But anyway, um, I have a new packing video up on my channel if you haven't seen it. And I'm going to have a uh, vacation outfit lookbook going up as well. So I know you guys like those videos. There hasn't been as much this past year for obvious reasons, but hoping to do a little more since my channel is mainly a lot of travel content. Then I have, I'm going to use this to show you. Um, this is also Tarte. And let's see, this is in the color Rose. And it's just a really pretty rosy, like sheer balm. It goes great over like um, any kind of lip liner. You could wear it on its own for more sheer look. It does come in other colors. I will link this for you below as well. It feels fantastic on the lips. Like again, it's one of those like you could just keep with you kind of for some hydration. Wow, it's like just looking uh, in the mirror, you can totally tell a difference with um, the Shape Tape Ultra Creamy versus the original. I can already tell. It's like the fine lines don't show up as much, you know. I love the original anyway, just because it covers so well and it lasts so long, but this definitely is a game changer. You guys gotta check this out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link everything below and the discount code for Tarte below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.